This video is on what's called the oxidation number of an element or the charge of an element. Um, probably one of the most important things actually of the year because this, this determines how elements combine. For example, like two hydrogens combine with one oxygen to make water. So uh, this is pretty important on why elements and how they form charges. So most important thing to remember is elements really want eight valence electrons, okay? They want eight valence electrons. So they can either gain or lose to get to eight valence electrons. So either gain electrons or lose electrons to get to eight valence electrons. Um, so uh, let's say that, let's say you have an element such as magnesium. Okay, I'm assuming right magnesium's configuration. Magnesium goes 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. So there's magnesium. There's just 12 electrons. It's got two valence electrons. Two valence electrons. So not very stable like that. So it could either gain six electrons to get to eight valence, but an easier way for it to get to eight valence is to get rid of its outer two electrons. So magnesium, again, it would have to gain six to get to eight. It tends to get rid of these two electrons. That means it empties out its whole outer energy level. So that energy level is now empty. Well, now look at its energy level that's left over. That energy level now has eight valence electrons in it. So magnesium tends to lose two electrons. So we think about that. If it gives away two electrons, if you get rid of negatives, you become more positive. Okay, it's getting rid of two negatives. It forms a positive two charge. So magnesium, you write it like this, magnesium, with a plus two charge. That's called a cation, by the way. Cations are positive. Cats have pos. Cations are positive, so it's called a cation. And the reason it's positive is it, it still has its 12 protons, it now only has 10 electrons. It just got rid of two electrons. So it's kind of weird. Getting rid of electrons makes them positive. If I gain electrons, it makes me negative. Okay, so um, there's some trends here. Magnesium has two valence electrons, tends to get rid of them. All of these tend to get rid of two electrons and form a positive two charge. These elements all tend to get rid of one electron, which makes their outer energy level full. They form a positive one charge. Okay. Let's look at an element such as oxygen. So oxygen's configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So oxygen has six valence electrons. It's got six valence electrons. Well, it really wants to get to eight. So it's going to gain two electrons. And then elements can get electrons from other elements very easily. So if it gains two electrons, this now becomes 2p6. It now has eight valence electrons. So when it gains two electrons, gains two electrons, if it picks up two more electrons, gains two more electrons, it now becomes oxygen with a negative two charge. It just picked up two extra electrons. So oxygen forms a negative two charge. It wants to gain two more electrons. Well, all of these elements with six valence electrons tend to gain two electrons and form a negative two charge. These elements with seven valence electrons tend to gain one electron form a negative one charge. These elements with five valence electrons want to gain three electrons and form a negative three charge. If we look at this family, they have four valence. Now they can either gain or lose four electrons. So they can form a plus or minus four charge. I would typically tell you the charge on those elements. Okay. In general, the elements down here become positive those become negative. That kind of changes a little bit. The boron family with three valence, they would have to gain five or lose three. They tend to lose three electrons and form a positive three charge. So it's a little weird. Gaining makes them negative, but you're gaining negative, gaining electrons, which makes negative. These elements in the middle of the table form multiple charges. And you can see on here, like chromium can be a plus three, plus two, plus six. Man manganese can be a plus two, plus three, plus four, plus six, plus seven. So, um, those charges you'll never have to know. They just are listed in there. Most times plus two is a really common charge for them, but they can be different charges as well. Again, you're losing them. That was fairly quick. You need to know the charges pretty well and how they form those charges. Which elements want to gain, which elements want to lose electrons, and what charges they form. That's all we got.